Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. I'm Laura and today we're going to talk about this fantastic vernacular jazz move called the trickeration. The move, not the routine. I'm going to have a video breaking down the entire routine, but it's going to be much easier if you know this move first. So here we go. So we know the move trickeration from the routine trickeration, which was popularized by Norma Miller, an original Savoy dancer, like a badass, like a super badass. And she learned it from chorus girls who presumably made it up to a Cab Calloway song called the trickeration. And according to the definition for Oxford languages, that song is the earliest use of the slang trickeration, meaning trickery plus deception. The more you know. Linked in the description. It's fancy, it's fun, and I think you'll love it. Thank you to the people of Patreon for helping to support me and making this video free for everybody in the world, including people like you. And if you want to join them, the link's in the description. We're gonna break it down by dancing through its component parts. Let's get started. you'll notice that the trickeration ends with a lock turn. If you want more information on the lock turn and how to make it snappy and what to do with your arms, I also have a video on that. In the meantime, let's put it all together. Let's look at a couple of details. For the toe tap, this is what works for me. I try to think about a nice soft landing on my standing leg and then let gravity take care of my tapping leg. Ideally, everything is connected to my bounce and therefore to the rhythm of the song. Now, some of you might remember last year, I came out with another video called The Trickeration, which was apparently wrong. The thing that I taught is something that I learned in the context of several different routines. It was not given a name, but at this point, I think it's a variation of The Trickeration. I still use it a whole bunch as transitions and stuff like that. I probably made up more on top of it than I don't even remember at this point. And this is one of the things that I love about vernacular jazz, as you can take something, break it up into component parts, reorder those parts, change the direction of those parts, change the orientation of those parts, and then you have a different move that looks cool and that you can weave in and out of different things. Improvisation, baby. The bad thing is when you learn it, are you learning the source material or are you learning somebody's variation that they made up? Very hard to tell. Frickin' verbal traditions making it difficult to peg stuff down. Either way, it's helpful for you and helpful for your dancing. I still think it's legit, so here it is. <laughs> Me, 
these two moves are pretty much the same, except in the variation, the trickoration moves down the line, which makes it a little bit different and makes that lock turn at the end very, very difficult. So I don't do it. I just go into the next move. Something that helps me turn down the line is I bring my arm up over and down as I turn. My goal is for my hand and my bounce to reach the bottom at the same time. I hope you had fun and learned a lot. If you did, one of the best ways to support this channel is by liking and subscribing cause of that algorithm. If you like the music, it's the Brooks Primo Orchestra and there is a link to it in the description. And 50% of the money that I get from this channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art cause Lindy Hop is a black dance and that's very important to its identity. And the best way to learn how to dance is to dance. Mm -hmm.